A tab profile provides you with the data very similar to the data in the histo, but instead of getting mean intensity in a certain selected area, you can get an intensity along a line. And the line you need to draw by yourself. And you have different tools here. For example, I pick the, an arrow, draw it, and then I can modify it by using the select tool. I can make it shorter, longer, or reposition it on the image. And you can see that you instantly get a, a plot of intensities along the line. So the line is uh, 250 micrometers long. I can make it a bit shorter, 200 micrometers long. And I have several peaks of intensity along it. This, the highest, obviously corresponds to this place on the image. And this probably corresponds to this place on the image. It might be a bit difficult to see where these peaks come from, and you can activate the option called markers, which allows you to place at least two markers on your image, and you can place them along the line by scrolling with a scroll bar here to be able to see where these peaks come from, what structure on the image uh, gives this peak of intensity. So this one comes from this nucleus, and this one comes from this out-of-focus nucleus. If you click on Table checkbox, you will get a raw data of intensities along the line for each 0 0.208 micrometers. And you can right-click this table, copy, and paste it into Excel sheet. Profile on Image Display allows you to plot this uh, data straight on the image and it kind of replaces the idea of markers but then it might be a bit too chunky and overlay too much of the information on your image. You can also select different colors for the profile in this Dropbox menu. The main difference between the profile and the histo is that the profile measures intensities along the line while the histo measures intensity within an area.